Hi, this is Melinda Barlow, CZT, Certified Zen Tangle Teacher, and today's lesson is Falm by Cora Titz, and it's a great tangle. It's a one-step tangle. I love one-step tangles, and I drew it in my um, notebook, in my journal that I'm working on, and um, it's a great tangle to do. I think you're going to enjoy this tangle. It has many possibilities. It's a great organic tangle. So if you're into organic tangles, I think this is one you're really gonna like. So let's get started. And here is foam, one I've put in my journal that I'm working on. And I did this with, uh, <laughs> very daring for me to do a gold. I'm not usually into gold, but I've done it with a gold and I, I like it. So let's get started. Here with is also foam that I did on a little, this is a gray tile, and <clears throat> I love how they turn out on gray. I could add a little white to that, and I would really like it. So let's start with a tile, and I'm not going to put a border or a um, string or border on this. I'm just going to start out with foam, and I. it just starts with a little... That's the little shape that it is. It's a little curly cue and comes up, and I would say it's like a hook. And then it come, you come back down around it, and it's you never lift your pen. So you just keep rotating around this until you have the size you like. And then I end just at the bottom. I bring it in. So we'll start again. Little circle that comes up to a point. And then you want to echo around this. And it can have that hollybaw effect. And then you can end it. And they can just nestle into each other. I like to start my foam out a little bit from the others and then because that's going to be the center. And then work my way until I have it my desired size. And I usually like it to come in and connect with my my one prior so that they kind of touch. That's when I know to stop. You can rotate your tile so that they build out from the center. And this one's going to be a very a larger one because I was out a little farther. Now my foam that I did in my book, I drew a line. This one here, I didn't draw the line, but you can connect these points and give it a little um, stem coming off the end of it. I love that. When I did that one, I thought, oh, that really added to foam. And another thing you can do to foam is you can put a point at both ends. And then just echo around until you want to stop. And then I just join in when I want to stop. And then draw your little line up. Come down here from the bottom and join it in a space here. Okay, so. And you want to go slow and with purpose. Do not try to draw this one fast. You can see I'm doing a, a little bit more holly bar with this one. So I've kind of filled in that spot. 
Draw my line up. Just rotate around. We can do another one. And if I run into that line that I did the little extension, I'm just going to draw right over it. It's a single line. I don't need to worry about doing holly bar. I don't need to do the holly bar until I come where it's a double. And then I want to do the holly bar. And that one. Come and do my line up. I want to have kind of a weird little thing. So I'm going to come back and put a little weight on it. But you can. You can put a little weight on those. And this, one more, just to show you. And this is foam. Beautiful tangle. Very, very relaxing to do because it is a one stroke tangle. I love the simplicity of tangles that are one or two strokes. I've always felt like the maximum should be three. That's what I learned when I went to certification, that a tangle was three strokes of the pen or less. I have seen more, and even by Rick and Maria, they've done one that's a little bit more. I can this, has a lot more steps to it. but. This is a beautiful tangle. It has lots of things where you can just add it in. If you like organic tangles, this is one you're going to really like. I like to add in between. You could add circles, but another thing you could do is you could just add echo lines. And just echo those shapes out so that you've got other lines behind. That's a great fill-in. Another thing is you can add circles. I love to add just diminishing circles. It's That's a great way to add a little texture to this one. And you can even fill these in so that they are filled in circles. But there we have the tangle by Cora Tits. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Have a great day. And let's tangle.